Cheers, everybody. Thank you all for 90 subscribers. <laughs> Over a year and probably a half of making video content. I did not think I would get really this far, but yet still doing what I usually do. By the way, this is not wine, this is Pepsi. You want proof? Here it is. Anyway, yeah. So to celebrate this, I am going to do another layout video. I know it's been a couple of months and a lot has changed in the background of the videos. So I can't wait to show you. Now I'll just sit back, relax, and let's start the show. You haven't seen the layout ever since January 20th. And this, and this footage was like done like way back in like February or something. Um, so here, something big happened to the layout. And let's just say it got moved. It got moved to the basement for space reasons. And a lot of the buildings in this footage are no longer on the layout in the basement. Either being destroyed or not really really mattering anymore so just so you know the layout looks different from this footage which was in an original scrapped video how does the layout compare nearly like five months later basically well here it is in all its original glory it's basically unchanged and it hasn't really been touched in a while, but it's now here. The biggest addition to this new layout is a big metropolitan station. Uh, it has a bunch of buildings it, I either got from thrift stores or the dollar store. And it looks like a town. Also, a reintroductory of the coach unit thing that was on an older layout. Still swinging. Yep, still swing. The station platform is made of wood, and I got this water tower at the dollar store for 25 cents. That was a steal. Besides that, this has not really changed much. There was a change in scenery, though. This used to be the Bluebell Railway, but after some planning and stuff, I realized that it wasn't really worth it, as there's too many creative liberties. So I am deciding on a name for it. Besides that, the layout is basically the same. Next thing to talk about is the sort of village style thing. This village style thing, as I called it, is just a place to run my Trackmaster 2 engines. I was very fortunate to get Trackmaster 2 track at a thrift store. So, yeah, that's cool. And I built this sort of layout many years ago. It was like two years ago, and I haven't touched it since. So I'm glad I'm putting it back to use. But I kind of don't really run my Trackbuster 2 stuff on here anymore. As we will see another layout, which I'll probably run them. Next up is this starter loop that I have around the table of the layout. This small oval of track is mostly for new engines that I get at thrift stores or any other th th stores like eBay where I can run the trains to make sure that they work properly. It's more or less kind of a small layout. I got, I'm lucky to have switches now, and I got the Trackmaster track from a thrift store a while back, recently actually, for $4. For $4, that's such a good deal. But now I can finally recreate this scene. Get out of my way. But the freight car wouldn't move until Gordon forced it. By 
accident. Thank you for watching. I will likely, if there's any more updates, I will likely put them on my community tab. I know it's been a while, but I, thank you for everybody who stuck around and was really patient. I know this video has been delayed for a while, but ever since the layout's big move, I think it was very successful. I will probably explain in a different video on how I run or store my trains. So I guess that's another video coming. Anyway, I'm currently making a writer's Bible for my series. So yeah, see you guys, bye.